All right, we are on section three of chapter seven. So we're gonna talk about adding and subtracting radicals. So the big thing to think about, as long as your radical is the same, just think of it as a variable or like an X or a Y, and you're just adding together the coefficients. Okay, so as long as you have like radical expressions, well, what are like radical expressions? Yeah. They have the same radicand, so inside the radical symbol. They also have the same index, okay? So if they are the same yeah. radicand and same index, they are like radical expressions, and we can combine them, like combining like terms, okay? So to add and subtract radicals, we simplify each radical if they're not simplified, and then we combine like radicals, so for example, seven square roots of two plus eight square roots of two. Those can be combined because they have the square root of two and the square root of two. Those are alike. But if you have a square root of seven, the square root of 14, and then the, another square root of seven, you can combine three square roots of seven with one square root of seven, but you can't combine it with the four square roots of 14. That doesn't combine. So let's try a problem. Two square roots of three plus six square roots of 15 minus seven square roots of three. So the only like terms I see are two square roots of three minus seven square roots of three. So those are the only things that we can combine. So we just add the, X, the, the coefficients. So two minus seven is negative five. So I should have a negative five square roots of three and it looks like my only answer that has that is number three. And then the six square roots of 15, that can't com be combined anything. So that's just gonna go on the end, the plus six square roots of 15, which means that my answer is number three. So let's look at this problem. Four square roots of 12 plus the square root of two minus five square roots of 32. You're like, well, none of those are, you know, have the same radicands. There, none of those are the same. We have a 12 and a 2 and we have a 32. But those aren't simplified, right? 32 can be simplified. We can pull out some numbers there. And 12 can be simplified. We can pull out some numbers there. So it's possible that some of those could be combined if we simplify them first. Let's do an example problem. We have 5 square roots of 3 minus the square root of 48 plus 8 square roots of 3. So I see it's square root of three and I need to see another square root of three, but I have a 48 right here. So it's like, well, I can't really combine that with anything else because these are threes and that's a, that's a 48, okay? So the thing is, is that, well, can 48 be rewritten as three times a number? Well, let's see, it could be rewritten as three times 16, right? Three times 16. Because 3 times 16 is 48. So if I rewrite the square root of 14 as the square root of 16 times 3, well, the square root of 16 is 4. So I can pull a 4 out, leaving the square root of 3. So I have 5 square roots of 3 minus 4 square roots of 3 plus 8 square roots of 3. So 5 minus 4 plus 8 is 9, so I have 9 square roots of 3, which is answer number 2. All right, so the same way that we can um, combine like radical terms, we can also combine like exponential terms. In order to be a, a like exponential term, they have to have the same bases, and then they also have to have the same exponents. And as long as they do that, you can combine them together, just like when you combine x's or you can combine y's. So for example, three times two to the 21st power minus seven times two to the 21st power. Just think of this two to the 21st power as a variable, let's call it a. So if I rewrote this, instead of saying two to the 21st power, I said a, I would rewrite that expression as three a minus seven a. Well, three a minus seven a is negative four a, okay? And then I just replace a with two to the 21st power. So I get negative four times two to the 21st hour. I just combined those exponential terms. Okay, you can also think of it like this. You are just combining you are adding the coefficients. Three 
minus 7 is negative 4. So negative 4 times 2 to the 21st power. So let's do an example. What is 5 times 3 to the 6 plus 2 times 3 to the 6? So again, 3 to the 6 and 3 to the 6 is what we're combining. We have 5 of them and we have 2 of them, which means all together we have 7 of them. So the answer would be 7 times 3 to the 6. So what about this problem? <laughs> we have 2 times 5 to the 13 plus 7 to the 12th minus 4 times 5 to the 13th. Notice that the only thing you'd be able to combine is this 2 and this minus 4. The 7 to the 12th could not be combined with anything else. And then we have this example, 5 to the 7th plus 5 to the 9th. That could not be combined at all because the bases are different. Or not the bases, I'm sorry. The bases are the same. The bases are 5, but your exponents are different, so you cannot combine them. Your turn. You're going to try 7.3, number 2 through 6 evens. I'm available for help if you need it.